Welcome back into the grind, Cajun Nation. The Raging Cajuns got their bats going this weekend against Sacred Heart, but they got tripped up in the midweek. Let's take a look back at how it happened. Sacred Heart came into town this weekend, and it was the exact thing the Cajuns needed to get their offense going. Over the three-game series, they scored 21 runs and clubbed in 32 hits. Makes it pretty easy for your pitchers to get it done when you have that much run support. On Friday, Gunnar Leger went six innings strong, then the bullpen finished it out for a shutout. On Saturday, Wyatt Marks picked up eight more strikeouts with his filthy, dirty slider. And then on Sunday, Nick Lee continues to progress as he helped out the bullpen get another shutout on Sunday. Unfortunately, in the midweek game against Tulane, they blasted two home runs, picking up a 5-3 win, as the Cajuns are still looking to get things going on the road. They've only won one game away from ML Teagmore Field, and you can't take Lafayette with you. Coming up next, though, your Grinder of the Week. This one was pretty obvious. Your Grinder of the Week this week is a repeat. You guessed it, it's Joe Robbins again. He's absolutely killing it right now on a 12-game hit streak at the plate, and he's locking things down at the top of the lineup with Kyle Clement out for the next couple weeks. He's been a really good glove in center field as well. And speaking of those outfielders, shout out to Izzy Edwards, who reached base 75% of the time against Sacred Heart, and he stole three bases on Sunday. That's just straight thievery, Izzy. Gotta give a shout out to the pitchers too. Gunnar Leger and Nick Lee pitched shutout ball, and they probably could have went eight innings strong. Now, let's head into conference play and look ahead at your opponent for the week. You ready, Cajun Nation? Conference play starts this week in Troy, Alabama. Quick scouting report on the Trojans. They got off to a hot start, winning their first seven games, but their last seven have been quite different. They plunged in some cold water, losing six of their last seven games, but don't take their weekend rotation lightly. They have three starters with ERAs under 2.0, and this Cajun lineup desperately needs to get things going offensively. Speaking of getting things going, the road has been very unkind. The Cajuns are undefeated at ML Teagmore Field, but they only have one win away from Lafayette. You can't take ML Teagmore Field with you, but Section A can still probably hit the road and travel as we get out to conference play. You can listen to all the games on KPEL 96.5 and follow along all year long here on The Grind.